to another cooking with cinnamon. Today's we're doing a, a cheap ramen meal for those of you on a budget. And we got two packages of um, the ramen chicken noodles. This is about about 25-30 cents or so. And this is about a dollar. We got the Hunt's diced tomato. So all in all, we're looking at a meal under two dollars here. So let's get this burner on and um, let me peel the label back here so I don't snag on the can opener here. We're going to open up this bad boy. And this is still good. It's good until May of 2021. It's got a good expiration date there. Okay, you know, and then hold it there. Let me see here if this is. Tastes pretty good. Okay, now we're going to need a little cup here. We need, we're going to get two cups of water. And we're going to, actually, you know what, maybe a cup and a half would do. I don't think we need the full two cups. We're going to try a cup and a half of water. Now we're going to get our two uh, ramen noodles here. And we're gonna we're gonna break them apart without, before we open it. We're gonna just break it here. Okay. There we go. There. There we go. Now they should all be squished up here. Where's my? There we go. My little handy dandy scissor right here. Alright, I'm going to cut it open, making sure nothing, now we're going to take the flavor packets out, we're still going to use the flavor packets to give it that extra flavor boost, yeah. but after you break it, whenever you open it, this is what it should look like, they're all broken up and nice looking there. So while this is coming to a boil, I want to show you what my my wife got me for Valentine's Day last month. Uh, look at this. She got me a big old packet of ramen noodles. And she says, you are so ramen attic. So, I'm pretty stocked up on ramen now. We make a lot of ramen noodle recipes here. Yeah, let me just put this back here. <coughs> I got a whole uh, bunker stack here for, you know, second up. so let me just go ahead and, um, I'll just stuff here, it's slipping, I was trying to buy there, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all this trash, I'm going to deposit it here in this trash can. Still waiting for this to cook, so I'll just give you a shout out whenever it comes to walk. See you in a little while. Okay, everybody, if you can, as you can see here, the, the brew is boiling. It's got a nice steady bowl here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put the ramen in here, and we're gonna cook it for about three minutes. If you wanna get a quick look at that, it's important to stir it there so that it gets. Evenly coated. There you go. And you just let it cook like that. And it's like a nice little stirring motion going on here. Like I said, you have to you're gonna have to cook it for about three minutes. And uh it's just gonna be and it's actually quite tasty once it gets done. Actually quite tasty. About two minutes there. Two, two, two. As you can see now, as the noodles are getting a little bit softer, so um, and then the, the the tomato texture will add to it while it's while it's while, while the meal's cooking into it, and the tomatoes will give it that little extra flavor there. Like, and once we put the 
the flavor back in here. So I have a nice little chicken tomato um, flavor there. We'll also keep an eye on it there. And as you can see, like the noodles are now starting to kind of cling to the tomatoes. And it has like a I love that little boiling, sizzling sound. Do you know what I'm So yummy, Mom. Do you think this would be something that you would like? I think, I think Mom would like this. Okay, we're coming up on about a minute here, so it's almost done here. Just got to keep on stirring it. This is a good, cheap budget meal if you're, you know, don't have a lot of money and you want a good meal that'll fill you up. You know, this is, this is a meal that's under two dollars. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh yeah, you can see the texture is starting to gain traction here. Yeah. Too much longer now. Won't be too much longer now. Just gotta keep on stirring it. You don't wanna you don't want the noodles to clump it all that all up on you there. Okay. And okay, it's done. So we're gonna turn this off. Now we're gonna get these flavor packets that I told you about. Just to give it that extra little little extra kick to it. Little spice, you know, you can use whatever flavor you prefer. You know, my my go-to is usually chicken. That's usually get all that flavor up in there. Make sure you get the last one. And you're going to want to stir the flavor into the noodles there. This is a really tasty meal. And it's, it's very cheap, very affordable, and it will fill you up. I recommend this. Uh, we, we take a look at that. Would you eat that? That is good. And that's that's my recipe. It's chicken tomato um, chicken tomato ramen. Good. Very good.